Hello, welcome back. This is Calculus by Dr. Oz. Today we're going to find equations of tangent lines and normal lines to a special conic section called hyperbola. Um, we're given the point and the hyperbola, the equation of the hyperbola provided to us. And this is, this is a very standard uh, uh, problem of calculus, which is finding the uh, equation of a tangent line uh, to the curve at a point. Uh, what is new here is the equation of the normal line, and, and, and I tried to explain that here. So the normal line uh, at a point is, in fact, uh, it, it, it is a line which is perpendicular to, uh, to the tangent line at that point. So once you know the tangent line, you're going to find another line that's, that's going to be perp to the tangent line, and, and you will be uh, uh, writing the equation of the normal line uh, together with the equation of the tangent line. And there's a relationship, obviously, between uh, the slopes of uh, perpendicular lines, and I'm going to give you the hints of that in the video, but, but start thinking about it, so how the slopes of uh, perpendicular lines are related to each other. So that's, that's something that we're going to use in the video. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's start. We have, uh, we have the equation of uh, a hyperbola here. Okay. And we're supposed to find equations for the tangent lines and the normal lines. Uh, uh, at the given point here. Uh, so uh, a normal line at a point is perv uh, to the tangent line at, at that point. So we're going to first find a tangent line. We know how to find that. We need uh, the derivative of uh, uh, y uh, to, to write down the slope uh, of the equation. So why don't we sort of like uh, have, a, have a good start here. But first I want to find the x and y coordinates of the point in fact, points that I, I look for are the tangent lines and uh, normal lines for. So first of all, y squared over four equals x squared over two plus one, okay? So for x equals four, I have uh, 16 over two plus one, which is nine. So y squared over four is nine. So multiplying both sides by four, I have y squared equals 36, this implies that I have uh, plus minus 6 for y. So which means that at x equals 4, remember that we have a hyperbola and we have two branches of that. So in one branch I have in one branch I have one point, in another branch I have another point. So we have two points essentially, one is 4, 6, and the other one is 4 and negative 6. So at each point, we're going to try to find uh, uh, the equation of the tangent line, and, and once we know the slope at that point, and, and, and we're going to find the slope of the normal line based on that, there's a relationship for perpendicular lines, uh, so for, the, for, for their slopes, okay? And so we will have to come up with, in fact, four equations, two for tangent and two for normal lines uh, at the end. All right, so uh, we have, let me just rewrite this equation here, y squared over 4, so y squared over Four minus uh, uh, x squared over two equals one. Okay, so remember uh, to be able to come up with the equation of the tangent line, I need to I need to know the slope at uh, slopes in fact at uh, let's see four six and four negative six. Okay, and, and as I as I told you earlier, uh, to come up with that uh, to come up with the slopes. I need to have y prime, okay? But uh, the equation of the hyperbola is given in, uh, is given implicitly, so we're gonna have the implicit differentiation here, okay? So we're something, uh, we're using something from uh, calc uh, one, uh, it's implicit differentiation. So we're gonna take the prime of this, okay? In other words, the derivative of that by assuming that we, we have y as a function of x, so whenever we take the derivative of y related term, uh, we should consider the chain rule, okay? So here we go. So y squared, as I said, you have the outer function, inner function. The outer function's derivative is 2y, okay? And the derivative of the inner function is not 1, but y prime. That's how we sort of like get y prime out of this equation. And then this is divided by 4. And x related terms uh, are, are, are just easy to take the derivative for. So it's 2x over 2, that's x, and the derivative of the right-hand side, which is the derivative of the constant, is 0. Okay? So this implies that uh, y, y prime over 2 equals x, 
by adding uh, x to both sides. And in fact, y prime is 2x over y if you multiply both sides of the equation by 2 over y. Okay, because these guys are going to cancel. All right. So now I have the I have the exact form or explicit form of y prime. I can go ahead and and find the slopes. So slope at four six. Let me call that to be like m one. Okay, is me plugging in uh, four four six and uh, six four y in the description of y prime. Okay. So x is 4, so 8 over, uh, let's see, 8 over 6, right? And the slope at 4 and negative 6, I'm going to call it like m2. Okay, and that's going to be minus 8 over 6. Okay, so in other words, this is 4 over 3, and this is minus 4 over 3. Okay. So let me just clean the top part and I will be writing the equation of the tangent lines because I know the point, I know the slope. So we have the point slope form uh, of uh, uh, equations. Let me just use a different color here. Here we go. So y minus the y entry of the first slope. So y minus 6. m1, which is 4 over 3, x minus 4. Okay. It's so the first tangent line, tangent line one, right? Tangent line two, that is y minus minus six equals negative four thirds, okay? X minus four, all right? You can simplify those if you want to, um, that's fine. So this takes care of the first part of the question and, and in fact, the second part of the question, we are asked to find the normal lines, right? Normal lines are the ones per to the tangent lines, okay? So, uh, well, uh, what was the relationship uh, between the slopes of perpendicular lines? Well, they are negative reciprocals of uh, each other, okay? So, for the normal lines, I'm going to find the slopes, uh, and I'm going to call them like... Uh, uh, M3 and M4, okay? So let me just uh, get rid of this. Okay, I'm going to call them M3 and M4. Okay. Of the normal line 1 at 4, 6. Let's call it M3, and negative reciprocal uh, of uh, this number here, right? So that's negative 3 quarters. And the slope of the normal line 2 at 4 and negative 6, I'm going to call it like M4, okay? And negative reciprocal of uh, this is just 3 quarters, okay? All right, so let me just uh, clean this part up and, and finalize this question by writing the equations of the normal lines, okay? So here we go. Normal line one, um, y minus six, the slope times x minus four, and normal line two, y minus minus six equals um, three quarters of x minus four. Okay. All right. So we used something from calc one. Uh, I mean, calc one and calc two obviously are already connected to each other, heavily connected to each other. Okay. So we used the fact that uh, uh, to be able to find uh, slopes of tangent or normal lines, we need to have. Uh, uh, y prime, and we have to implicitly differentiate uh, the equation of the hyperbola uh, to get down to y prime. Okay, so I think that was a good exercise, uh, and 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 that's the end of it. And and if you have any questions or comments, please send those to my way, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.